Did you hear about the George Floyd? Yes. Everybody's heard about it. It's yes. rather, um, it's not just sad, but it's, it's going to a point where I think people are just angry. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Like, like I mean, we'll get into a, a civilized conversation about it, but um, just for asking wise, wh wh where are all the gangsters when these things happen? Like, where are all these rap gangsters? <laughs> where, where are they? Like, all these, fuck the police. All these, you know, hardcore music gangsters, like, where are they? Like, why, why were there so much black gangsters in the black American community? And then all of a sudden they disappear when it comes to the police. Like, mm -hmm. anyways, let's get to the civilized uh, part of it. So what, what do you make of it? What do you make of the situation? Being an African here, why are you concerned? Why do you care about it being an African in, in Ghana? Like, well, being, being a black person in general, you have to care because this is like um, a war, a war on the black male. Um, years ago, it was incarcerating all the black males. Now, they can't really have much reason to, even though they are still having mass incarcerations, but now they're physically going up there to kill them. And um, I believe it started during the Obama um, tenure in office, but yes. they become more bold since um they got got some more bold since um trump came into power and I, I don't think it will stop and i don't even think it has to do with who's in power or not mm -hmm. whether it's democrats or republicans i think white supremacists have gotten a lot more desperate mm -hmm. um they think um um the black community is getting too strong getting too powerful and they they see that they're diminishing and they need to find some way to destroy the black community. So, so give me, give me um, just a little explanation. When you say the black community is getting too powerful, what are you referring to? Like, are you referring to Africa? Are you referring to black communities in America? And and what power are you sort of? Um, ju just as, briefly, as a whole, mm -hmm. as a whole, yes, um, Africa is on the rise. Mm -hmm. But then again, I think there are more people, more black Africans, who are doing so well. Mm -hmm. It's not just a story where everybody's just some ghetto person who doesn't really have a good education, who's not really doing that well. Mm -hmm. We have so many um, people who are black people who are doing amazing things, who are in corporate America, who are rising and then stepping up the bar and then proving themselves beyond a shadow of a doubt that you can be somebody in spite of mm -hmm. your skin color. And I think they feel threatened that they're taking everything away from us, taking all the opportunities mm -hmm. away from them. They don't want to do anything to help themselves and they don't like the fact that mm -hmm. black America is mm -hmm. getting stronger mm -hmm. and is getting more powerful economically, even though it, they do everything to put them down. Mm -hmm. But somehow, some way, they're, they're still finding ways to fit through the cracks and to rise to greatness and i think that it scares the white supremacists and they have to find somewhere and just trying to break that spirit and do you think these racist acts by the police is an organized act do you think it's intentional like someone from the higher power um, of the police ranking has told them that this is your mandate this is how many black people should be arrested this is how many should be killed or do you think it's just a few people who just happen to be racist who are causing these issues for the police in America. No, I think it's more organized because mm. when you look at the situation and how things happen, it's, it's not normal. It doesn't make sense. It's, yes. it, it's not random. It's like they know what they're doing. Yeah. It's like they just pinpoint and pick random people to just get rid of on any given day. Yeah, Even looking at this um, situation, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, and we're looking at a guy who wasn't one resistant he wasn't fighting back. Exactly. I mean, the guy had his knee on his neck. Yeah, I mean, both knees on his neck. And there were two other guys on, on, the, other side. on the other side. And I mean, this, I don't know why this matters to me. Like this is the biggest thing mm -hmm. in the whole picture. The fact his hand was in his pocket. I, yeah, I, I, yeah I, exactly. I, 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 it's almost like, like, oh, I've been, Sorry for using the N-word. I've been killing ninjas for so long. I'll, I'll, I'll do this one with my hand in my yeah, pocket. Yeah. Like, that, yeah. that, that's when you put your hands yes. in your pocket. When you're, you, you're doing something exactly. and you're tired of doing yeah. it for so long. Hey, let me, Because let me the relax. look on his face, he seemed you know, unconcerned. Like, oh, yeah. He wasn't pulling out any cuffs. He was, wasn't restraining nothing. Just yeah, had his knee like, on his neck. And 
Oh, yeah, just yeah. chilling. Okay, just let me just snuff his life out. Okay, let me wait for him to die, and then that one was just looking on, um, unconcerned. And, and and here's the here's the problem with, you know, America or the media, or if I should say whites in this case. All right, this is a man who he wasn't a criminal. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're gonna pull up some things. I don't they know. started pulling up stuff already. Okay, I saw know. some articles. And he wasn't resisting. Okay. Now, if one of those things, maybe, oh, so long, maybe he insulted the police, or maybe he fought, or maybe he did something that a normal human being Would should be. have done, the whole of white America would be like, oh, he deserved to yes, die, he yeah. was resisting, he was, you know what I mean? So now yeah. it's like, it, 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 it's like you... I don't even know how to put it. It's like all the bullshit that they've been doing, no one cares about talking up against it. Like you have to be a clean cut black man mm -hmm. who doesn't want to push someone's knee off your neck. Because if you push his knee off your neck and he shot you, they'll be like, he was resisting arrest. Exactly. I, I, I and. Yeah, I'm it's, out of words. It's crazy because looking <laughs> at the, the, the like, stature of this guy, he could have easily fought off those yeah. men easily, but he didn't want to because he didn't want to get shot. Yeah. He knew his life was in danger. Yeah. If I resist, I could get shot. So he was complying yeah. to save his life, and still, they still went ahead and murdered him. Yeah. It's and, and, crazy. And, I mean, I don't want to get because we know there are loads of videos. There's one video where there is a black man who is just resisting arrest. His back is facing a fence, and all of a sudden a police starts punching him in his yeah. head and he's still resisting for about 30 seconds the the he, he's resisting and nothing happens because guess what he didn't die yeah his situation is just the same as this so what if one of the punches killed him then exactly. we're going to be like oh this is unfair so if if floyd didn't die right there and then maybe that second before he lost his life the guy raised his knee mm -hmm. we would have all been okay with this we would have just gone back to our lives. Oh, yeah. well, he didn't kill him. If Floyd resisted and they killed him, we would have... It needs to be clean cut. No criminal record. No common sense. And I call it common sense mm -hmm. because any fucking... Sorry, freaking human with a, a common sense should have actually resisted. Yes. That should have actually fought back. Any person with, you know, but it's almost like no you shouldn't you should be a perfect person and we see other videos where mm -hmm. you see a white man with a knife running after police like uh, you can see what I mean, guns out. shooting at and they still manage to take them in without a scratch on them it's Ghana. TV. I came to 100%. 100%. African. Fashion, fashion, fashion.